Hey, welcome to the channel today. I'm gonna to talk about why you think Moe's stance is closed and it's actually perfect. So there's no better feeling knowing that when you wake up in the morning to go play golf, so that you're gonna play well. There's no better feeling of hitting good golf shots down the fairway. So my mission today is to help as many people as possible wake up every day feeling good that they're gonna go out there and play great because of the single point swing. So when you watch Mo, and if you see this video, I'm gonna show some video here of Mo hitting golf balls. You're gonna see, look at his foot position just for a second. And you're gonna see that his, his feet, his right foot looks back a little, and his feet look what we would, some people would call closed to his target line. And so everybody says, well, he's hitting it left, he's hitting pulls. That's not true, and I wanna show you why. Because look at this video of Mo hitting golf balls. This is with a seven iron and you see that his stance actually looks slightly open. <laughs> so, so is it open or is it closed? This is kind of the genius of Mo when you see this. And by the way, this isn't, this isn't subject to Mo. Who's the next best ball striker that ever played the game, which was Ben Hogan. And if you look at how he positioned his ball position, you see exactly the same thing. He had a radius to his foot position. And, he underst and, and good ball strikers understand this. There's a radius to it. Why? It's pretty simple to figure out, and I'll show you here in a second, but I don't want you to think that Mo is pulling shots. He's dealing with the radius of the arc of the swing. So let's talk about that. And it's pretty simple to figure out in this sense of clubs are designed. If you look at a seven iron, I'm, I'm just gonna use two clubs here, a driver versus a seven iron. A driver is hit to be pretty much at a 90 degree straight up and down angle. That's the way it's designed to be struck. A seven iron is designed to be struck with shaft lean, just like any club with, with loft, wedge, has more lean, but these clubs have to be designed where the hands are more in front versus a driver the hands aren't as in front. Well, that's a big deal because when, when you have a ball position, this is a seven iron ball position, and you're swinging, how do I get my hands in front and get the club moving down the line? I have to have a ball position and a, a foot position that is slightly open because the radius of the arc is more back. Because the radius of the swing is being determined by the lead shoulder rotation. So think about it this way. And you, you can kind of see what I'm doing here. If I take this seven iron and I just move it through in front of my body, you can see there's a point where it hits the bottom with shaft lean and then it starts moving. It moves a little square then moves to the left. So there's the square spot of the seven iron right here just about five inches in my lead foot, and there's that square spot. Okay, so there it is right through there. Now, here's what's interesting about it. The driver, since it's more forward, it starts moving that direction sooner because look at my lead shoulder. The ball position's more forward, and the, and the shoulder's moving this direction sooner. So what happens is, what Mo figured out, and this was the genius of him, and this is Hogan too, they figured out that, well, if, I, if this foot's back, then the shoulder doesn't get moved left as, as soon because if I have the feet open, it moves more left. And it's all based on where the ball position is and where the lead shoulder is traveling relative to the length of the club. So they, they and I don't like the word closed, they offset their feet to deal with the arc and the radius of the lead shoulder. So that's why you see Mo when he sets up that this trail foot is set back slightly because now it allows the shoulder not to over rotate this direction and he can square it up. And you know, he's hitting that wall that I talk about and it's easy to do because he's not over rotating here. If, I hate to see people with an open stance with their driver because this is just asking for the, the club to come outside the arc to slice the ball and to move left with an open face. So Mo is, Mo, I love watching Mo hit drivers because he always had his feet in a very stable offset position to deal with the, the arc of the shoulder and he could square that lead shoulder, it would just basically turn to that same spot every single time. With the short irons, he was slightly open. Mid irons, pretty straight. Longer clubs, offset, dealing with the arc and the radius of the lead shoulder and how it traveled around the body. That's the correct ball position. That's the way you should do it to be a great ball striker. Hope you enjoyed the content. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.